how to update your Hyundai's navigation software for free and at home. It's important to note that this update applies only to vehicles with built-in navigation. The screen size will vary depending on the model and the age of the vehicle. You'll need a 32GB SD card or a USB drive with 32 or 64GB of capacity depending on the model and file size. Both will need to be formatted to FAT32. The Hyundai Navigation Downloader tool will inform you which one your vehicle uses and the size required. You can reuse the SD card from the vehicle if your vehicle comes with a 32GB SD card. You will need to supply your own USB drive. If you have a vehicle without built-in navigation, the overall process will be similar but the downloadable update file will be different. You can follow this video up in the corner if you have a vehicle without built-in navigation. After you have distinguished which infotainment system your vehicle has, I would recommend first checking whether an update is available. You can check the software version by going to Setup, General, and under Software Version, the current software version will be displayed. If the version differs from the one located on the Hyundai Navigation Updater tool, then you should proceed with the update. To find the correct navigation update file for your vehicle, go to the website located on the screen or in the description below. Once on this website, click on the updater navigation download, then download the correct software for your PC or Mac. Once you have done this, you can open up the software tool and log into your current My Hyundai account or use a guest login. To find the correct update file for your vehicle, you want to sort by model and then model year. The updates are different depending on the vehicle, so be sure to download the correct one. Insert the SD card or USB drive into the computer and follow the directions for downloading the file. You'll need to download the file directly on your computer before transferring to SD card or USB drive. Once you have followed the directions from the software tool to download and transfer the file, you can eject the media and head to the vehicle. Once inside the vehicle, turn the vehicle on and plug the SD card into its dedicated slot or USB into the media port around the center console. I'd recommend turning off Bluetooth from your phone before proceeding with the update. The vehicle should recognize the update automatically, but if not, go to Setup, General, and press the update button at the bottom. The update should take about 30 minutes and the screen may turn on and off during the update. If the vehicle asks to restart the head unit at any point, simply press the volume knob once and it should continue with the update. Because the vehicle I am updating today has a Gen 5 head unit and has not been updated before, it will receive the latest Hyundai UI design theme. The software updater tool will inform you what generation head unit your vehicle has. Once the update is complete, you can check the version to see if it matches the version from the website to verify that the update is successful. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions on future video topics, please do that all in the comment section below and I will definitely read every single one of them. And with all that being said, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.